If your organization has recently set up an account with Covidence and you're acting as an organizational administrator for your account, then you're going to want to learn more about how to administer your organizational account through the Covidence platform. Once you have set up your individual user account with Covidence and have linked that up with your organizational account, if you're going to be acting as an administrator on your organizational account, then you'll want to connect with a Covenants administrator or member of the community team who can then grant you administrative access to your organizational account. And the way that you'll be able to access that once you have set that up and a Covenants administrator has linked you up is when you're logged into the platform, you will be able to go to your review dashboard. You can see here that we're looking at the review dashboard for my account and click on the pull down menu under your name. Once you're linked as an organizational administrator, you will see uh, a new section appear on the pull down menu under your name that will say your organizations and a link to the organizational account that your account is now affiliated with and of which you are now an administrator. So as you can see, mine is set up with our demo account, Covenants University. And I'm now going to click through so that you can see what the organizational account administrative interface looks like. Once you click through on that link, you'll be taken to the dashboard for the account administration page and you'll see an overview of what's happening with the account, the total reviews that have currently been set up, total number of authors who are affiliated with the account in some way, as well as any alerts. You'll also see on this page that you can run a search for anything that is linked, whether it's a person or a review with this account, and you can create a review from with, that it will automatically be set up within the account that uh, you can do that from this page. To get an overview of the reviews that are in your repository, whether you've set them up, one of the other administrators has, or anyone else who has rights to do so within the account, you'll click on the reviews page and you'll be able to see information about all the reviews that appear in the repository. As you can see on this demo account, the repository is still fairly small, so it all fits on one page. As the repository grows, um, you will be able to view that on multiple pages at a time, and you will be able to access sorting options to display uh, as you choose, whether it's in alphabetical or reverse alphabetical order, or by most and re least recently active if you're trying to get a status report on when a review team has last worked on something. You'll be able to find reviews uh, by searching in this box again and that's when the repository gets too big to all display on one screen and again you'll have the option to create new reviews from here. And as you can see all the reviews that are, dis are displayed as being part of the repository are hyperlinked from this page and you'll be able to click through and get an overview of what's happening. By clicking on the title, you'll be taken to the dashboard for the review. And by clicking on this gear icon all the way over on the right-hand side, you'll be taken into the settings section so that you can see what's happening. If you are accessing it only as an administrator, you will only have uh, read-only access to that review. You will not have the option to uh, do any of the actions that someone who's an author on the review will have. So uh, it's useful to be aware of that if, for example, as part of your work as an organizational account administrator, you're going to be uploading searches to reviews or inviting people to join or helping with setup, then usually it will make sense for you to be listed as an author so that you're able to take the um, same kinds of actions that anyone who's listed as an author or reviewer on a review project can do. And you can do that by being the person who creates the new review or by having the person who does that invite you to join as a reviewer. Um, but if it is set up in the repository without that access for you, you will be able to see what's going on as an administrator, but you won't be able to take any actions. Speaking of administrators, as you can see, there's also an option here to assign administrators for specific reviews. That will not really affect the level of access that anyone has, but um, many review, uh, sorry, many organizational account administration teams will use that if they have multiple people and they're taking responsibility for specific reviews, that they will 
ask they did ask to have that functionality set up so that they could assign it to a specific person and make it easier to keep track of who's doing what within the team and which teams they're working with. The author functionalities are available here, so you'll be able to see everyone who is affiliated as a reviewer. Uh, we use reviewer and author interchangeably um, in the platform, and so anyone who has, has joined a review as a reviewer will be listed here, and as you'll see, there'll be a couple of different designations here. So you'll have a full list of names, again, which can be sorted by uh, alphabetical or reverse alphabetical order, and you can find an author with the search box when that uh, list gets too long to be easily seen on one page. You can also contact people directly. Uh, this email address will be hyperlinked, and so that will, if you've got it linked up with your mailbox, you can email them directly or you can copy and paste that information into uh, your email program if you prefer not to do it that way. And you can see how long they've been a member as well as how many reviews they're affiliated with. And you can see their membership status. This is something we get quite a lot of questions about. And the basic designation is that anyone who is listed here as and designated as a non-member is someone who has been invited to join a review uh, by someone who has set up that review. And so um, when they accept the invitation to join a specific review, that means they will have access to the full features of Covidence as covered by this subscription within the confines of that review only. And so that's what we refer to as review level access. So they will have review level access to your repository and to the subscription that your organization is holding, but they will not be considered as a member. And in order for them to be members, there will be a separate invitation process that you can manage here by using this invite a new person button. And that will enable you to invite people to link their individual user account with the organizational account. And when they've done that, that will give them the ability to create new reviews themselves from within their own accounts that are held within your organizational account repository. And so you'll be able to see those as they're created, but they will have the authority to do that um, as and when they want to. And it will be up to your team to decide if you want to give that to everyone who's affiliated or who could be affiliated by having a relevant email domain address associated with their account or um, whether you want to keep that more restricted. And if you have questions about that, then we encourage you to contact a member of the Covenant support team at support at covenants.org and ask about the different models and uh, how you'd like to configure yours depending upon how your team is working. If you do want people to invite to invite people to join, you can do that from here. You can enter a name and an email address to individuals and send them. You can also monitor any ongoing uh, pending invitations from here and resend or cancel them and get a sense of when they are likely to expire. They are time limited um, and will expire after a certain period of time. Um, and you can keep track of that here. If you are looking to invite a large number of people, again, we do encourage you to contact support at covenants.org and let us know about that since we can more easily invite large groups of people to join um, rather than you're having to do it on an individual basis. And then, as I mentioned, you can set up the administrator function if you want to and designate people within your team who are going to be um, acting as administrators on specific reviews. Anyone who is assigned uh, as administrative rights within the account will be listed here. And then you can make designations about which, which reviews they're affiliated with. And again, a Covenants administrator will have to designate administrator status for the organizational account. That's a very quick process and we can do that upon request. And then you can make decisions about whether you want to use the assignment functions. And that more or less covers the features of how the organizational account administrator interface works. If you have any questions about any of this, uh, as always, please get in touch with support at covenants.org and we're happy to help with any questions or problems that you may have. Thanks.